you love it's been a few weeks i've had a long few weeks with so much happening and sober reflection of um, a family that died and just so many things but i'm so thankful to be back today i'm going to be showing you two ways to cook my favorite thing pepe soup pepe soup is a nigerian delicacy that can be made with chicken goat meat or any kind of um, organ meat it's fantastic it's serving but i'm going to show you two great ways that i love to make it today um watch out so one of the first things we're going to do is make our broth normally you can make the broth like way ahead of time um and yesterday i cooked some meat already and this is the broth that came with it. You can kind of get rid of all the fat because goat meat and some of this come with a lot of fat. So I'm gonna scoop some into this water. You can use about one cup of water or you could actually just use it without uh, water and just cook the broth by itself. The next thing I'm going to do is, I'm gonna move this right here. And over here, you can see I have my goat meat, I have the, the scotch bonnet pepper, um, green onions, curry, my bouillon, I have some thyme here, and I have my brand of pepper soup spice with, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of onions, I just have a little bit here, and I'll be boiling this egg for the garnish. But for now, we're gonna cut up some onions, just a little bit. And I mean, if you like onions, you could put more. I'm gonna put that right in there. And then I have my scotch bonnet. I think we're gonna do one more. And since I'm cooking two different types, I will just save the other one. So the first one we're doing is my special coconut pepper soup with noodles and just all things nice. Here is the pepper soup spice. I'm gonna get about a tablespoon of that. It's very earthy and it's just nice and warm and it just really cools you down. Um, especially on a hot summer day. You get hot first then, it cools you down. I have a little bit of um, thyme here. I'm gonna squeeze some of that. It's all dry and nice. And you can add rosemary, um, basil. What else can you add? Um, yeah, I think those are the main ones I would add. It's getting boiled right now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some of the meat. So I've added my meat. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add some bouillon. Right here, I'm gonna be adding one teaspoon and stir it simply because the, um, what's it called? The broth already has uh, some seasoning already and I don't want to overpie it and make it spicy. I mean, not spicy, too salty. You can see, oh, you should smell my house. One thing that you could do is actually just take this just the way it is, without any extra. This is the typical way where it's just simply the soup and is as, you know, it's perfect. But what I'm doing, I will be adding coconut milk. You could use any type of coconut milk that you want. But this is, uh, is this a Thai one? This is not Thai. But you could use Thai coconut you, milk, you could use any brand that you want. So this just happens to be the one that I have. In this, I will be adding, let me see, a quarter of a cup. It, it comes really thick, so I'm just gonna scoop it I'm gonna add just a little bit more. This is my special pepper soup. I cook this when I have a special guest, when I want to impress. It's so different, it's so much better. It's creamy, it's tasty, it's everything you would just 
that warms your heart. I'm gonna let it cook. Oh, it smells amazing. And when we come back, I will show you, I'm gonna now boil the noodles. I don't need to show you that, but it has to be al dente. I'll show you how that should be when you pour that in here. Um, because you don't wanna cook everything together. At the same time, you can, when, if you're too like choked for time, but you don't have to. Um, and then we'll be boiling the eggs as well, which will be used for the garnishing. This is for the coconut. I will, the next one I'm gonna show you after this, is how to make the green curry sauce, uh, pepper soup. We'll be right back. Okay, so as the noodles and eggs cook, I kinda already dished out the one for the coconut, but I'm gonna show you how to serve it. It's going to follow the same process. You use the beef broth, or whatever kind of meat broth you have. But I like this because it has goat meat and lamb and all that in there. I'm gonna put that, put that in here. I'm going to be using the Kroger brand of green curry sauce. Hmm. Gonna pour that in there. I'm not measuring it. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. After that, I will be adding some more curry. Just gonna make it a spoon. I would also add a tablespoon of, uh, no, I'll do half. It's kind of just going as the spirit leads. teaspoon of turmeric as you all know turmeric is really good for you so it's essential in like with your body and all that I'm just gonna put just a little bit of onions and then another thing you could do because of time I just didn't feel like doing it is blending your peppers and onions together and use that. You don't have to like chop it. You can literally just blend it. And you can use as much as you want, as little as you want. Or if you're not into spicy, you could skip it altogether. See how green, I don't even know what color. It's like so many colors. And I'm gonna add so the first one, the coconut, is my take, like Thai take on um, pepper soup. And this is like Indian um, inspiration for pepper soup. The next thing I will be adding is my pepper soup spice. smells awesome now I'm gonna just taste it to see if I need to add extra because this is to what the broth I use was towards the bottom of the pot so definitely will be a lot more this is perfect I really don't I'm glad I didn't add more volume because <laughs> it's perfect I'm gonna just let this simmer as I wait for the noodles to be done. And that'll be in a few minutes. Okay. So the first one we're gonna dish out is my Indian inspired green curry pepper soup. I mean, it's just gonna be simple dishing out. It's nice. You could put as much broth or as little broth as you want. I'm gonna 
gonna show you. Just gonna clean it up a bit. And for this one, this is as simple as it gets. So green curry pepper soup. And the next one I'm gonna dish out will be it's my Chinese faux pepper soup or inspired pepper soup. So the first thing I'm going to do, I made this al dente, so it's not too sticky, but over, I mean, it's better for you to serve it right away. I'm just gonna put a little bit here. And you could use maybe any other type of noodles. It just so happens that I prefer this because I normally just have enough at home. And I'm gonna be dishing this out. And all we're gonna do is pour. And this is the coconut full soup. And you can put cilantro on this. Um, you could put any other type of green. I'm just gonna put a little bit more. And these are African shrimp. Just gonna put, these are like dry shrimp. And I just kind of warmed it up in the microwave. I'm going to add eggs. And you can make your egg. And just gonna drizzle that with this. The last thing I'm going to put is seaweed. I really love seaweed. I love the taste. I love the feel. And you could just break it in, but since I'm trying to be fancy, I could just put that in here. And it melts in there, it's gonna just melt right in. Um, so that's why I could just place it in here. Also gives it a umami kind of taste. And here is my coconut pepper soup. And I could just serve that with fortune cookies for good luck. <laughs> so here you have it, Indian inspired green curry, um, pepper soup, it's just amazing. Um, you could add your curry, you could add turmeric, and just all things nice. But this is your coconut pepper soup with seaweed, um, prawns, noodles, eggs, and all get like a couple of organ meats and just goat meat and lamb meat, and you can use any kind of meat that you want. And for now, I will. Um, you can look at the top for recipes and next week i'm going to be showing you how to make other types of soup but i hope you can make this at home and you get to enjoy it trust me it's really good thank you for being a part of my day today i can't wait um to just kind of dig in i hope your week is fantastic thank god that summer is kind of coming to an end i can't believe we spent the whole entire summer at home and but it's just a great time to really get to like do a lot of things i got to catch up on a lot of work so but for now no more talking i need to try this especially this oh my this is really good it's spicy has curry and all of that and you could just drizzle this on rice as well so you don't even have to eat it by itself and then for this one This is my favorite any day, any time. My husband loves this. And any guest we have just enjoys it. And so until next week on Love, God and Your Love, 
I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Make some pepper soup. Enjoy it. You'll love it. And if you need the spice, let me know. I should have that up on my website in a couple of